All right, taking a look. Storm reports from last night. They were widespread across the state last night. We did see a bunch of funnel reports, 28 here in the central Iowa area. However, a lot of them were from the same from the same funnel. As we look at the tornado reports, a lot of them were in northeastern Madison County, but we also had one in Lambs Grove just to the west of Newton. Brief touchdown, so that is the good news. No damage reported, even the better news. Taking a look now, we just have that rain off to the south. That cold front is still working its way through, but we have another boundary starting to work its way into Iowa. It's putting down a stray shower. That's about all it will be, but this is actually the front that's going to drain us of the humidity, so it's on the way. Right now, we just have those clouds making for a pretty look this morning outside. 69 degrees, and yep, it's still soupy for right now, but things are going to improve once that second boundary moves on through. Notice the humidity level is going to drop. It'll get into that comfortable category today, so you just have to wait a little bit longer. Right now the winds are on the quiet side. They'll be about 10 to 15 from the north, so that drier air is going to move in through the afternoon. And in those temperatures right now, we are into the 60s in central Iowa. We're into the 80s by this afternoon. Definitely a pool day where that UV index is very high, so you can have a sunburn in under 15 minutes in that unprotected skin. So every two hours, relather up. You're going to have to fight that fight with the kids. I know I, <laughs> that's my goal. Taking a look at those showers this morning. They do fade off pretty early and then those skies open up. Lots of sun today, lots of stars tonight. As we look into Thursday, we'll see those clouds rolling in from the west throughout the morning. And then by the afternoon, we'll see some showers start to work their way in from the west. A lot of them fizzle out before they get to I-35. So we'll be waiting until Thursday night to get the rain here and it comes after midnight. It is going to move in from the west, become widespread. So your commute on Friday morning, it is going to have heavy downpours and lightning. Not expecting anything severe, but certainly going to slow down your trip into work. It does move off to the east as we get to the afternoon, so a little bit more isolated. Could be some redevelopment by the evening, so we'll be watching those to see if they do pulse up to be severe as they move into Missouri. Today's looking good, though. 86 degrees with that humidity on the decline. Tonight, 63 degrees, mostly cl cl clearer and much cooler as we look at that 10-day forecast. You'll see those temperatures topping at 80 tomorrow. This weekend's looking dry and fabulous. That humidity is going to be gone on Sunday.